Okay, so the prerequisite for backspin is a butt spin. And this is really simple, you're just spinning on your butt. So basically you're going to take one leg, either your right leg if you want to spin to your left, or your left leg if you want to spin to your right. You can kind of decide this and try both ways because it's good to be equal on both sides. So you're going to want to take your right leg out, right hand out, left hand behind, and you're just going to bend your left leg, swing your right leg, lean back a little bit, grab your legs, and spin on your butt. Super simple, exactly what the name sounds like. So now let's try it full speed, just a couple spins, and that's it. This is really good because it helps with your balance and just, you know, getting used to it. And as I said earlier, you should try it on both sides because you want to be an equal b-boy and be able to do things on both sides. It'll open up opportunities to do moves and different things like that. Now that you've done your pre-secret of a butt spin, you can move on to a actual backspin. And even though it's called a backspin, you do not want to roll onto your back because this will hurt your spine and it's very bad for you, so do not do this. However, you do want to be on your upper, upper back between your shoulder blades. And to give your spot, like your back more space so you can spin easier, you can bring your shoulder blades in, which will create a nice little spot for your back to spin. And then to get to your back, because you don't want to roll back, you're actually going to go on your side. So you're going to kick your leg sideways, and you want to get used to kind of just holding this because you're going to need to be able to go to that really fast and be strong in that position. So you're going to want to hold sideways and just get used to going like that. Next you're going to bring your leg around like we just did in that position and up. The reason you want to bring it up is because this way you have enough power to lift up your butt and your legs. And when you're on your side, you want to be on that side of your body, kind of underneath your armpit, where you can feel some of your ribs on your side. Now go to your starting position, which is an L sit with whichever hand out with the same leg and the other hand behind. Make sure you have enough space. And then you're going to bring your arm and your leg around as you go onto your elbow and lean back and then bring your leg up as you roll to your back on that space. Uh, side that I showed you earlier and then you're going to want to bring your leg and kick it up and this part does take a little bit of strength because you have to use your leg to get your whole lower body up which can be very difficult but once you start doing it full speed it'll get easier and easier because it's more momentum and not so much strength you should get used to holding this position seeing as in a backspin you can do a ton of spins and you need to get used to holding yourself on your upper upper back between your shoulder plates. So go ahead and sit here for like maybe 30 seconds and just get used to it. And to build up strength and to be able to do other things in your backspin, you can actually go into a straddle like this. You're gonna go on your upper back and then just go into a straddle. Super simple, but it's good to build up strength and flexibility for variants of the backspin. To get momentum in your backspin, you can take your legs and you can have one straight and one bent and then bring them really close together to give yourself more momentum. This is called a scissor, where you have one leg straight, the other leg bent, and then you bring them and switch them and bring them close together. This will give you a lot of momentum and help increase your speed of your backspin. There's another really easy way to gain momentum in your backspin, and basically you're just going to go into your straddle when you go to your back and you're going to bring your legs together which will give you a lot of momentum speeding up the process in your spin and the concept of this is your legs are together uh, far like apart in your straddle and you bring them together which makes you go really really fast now that you're spinning so fast you're going to have to get used to balancing more on your back and doing this in a backspin is sort of like holding on to those things in the playgrounds and where you lean back and you're going slow but then as you pull yourself closer to the center you're going to start speeding up and go faster and faster. Now that you have the instructions of how to do a backspin, it's just going to take practice. Make sure you also practice on both sides. You don't want to be stuck only being able to do backspins on one side. 
So basically just follow the same instructions in the beginning, leg straight, roll to your back, kick up to the small of your back. I'm not very good on the side and I probably should be practicing more. So don't be like me and make sure you practice both sides equally. Because once you get used to doing it only on one side, it's going to be really hard to learn the other side. It's easier to learn them both at the same time. So make sure you do a lot of practicing, practice on both sides and get really good at this move. So next time that you are at a dance and there's a dance circle, you can go in the middle and you can do a really cool move.